Welcome, everyone. I am Reynaldo Mireles. I am the Director of Coalition and Capacity Building at SAGE. I am excited that you all are joining us for this year's celebration of our third annual Ken Dawson Leadership Award celebration. And please know that, again, I'm recording this and everyone, I'm just wanting to make sure that you're on mute. I'm going to try my best. If you haven't muted yourself, I will begin to mute you as well, just to help out with those guests that are going to be speaking. Again, we'll be having our affiliate meeting right after this presentation. And at this time, I am honored to be joined by Lynn Feria, who is our executive vice president, also my supervisor, and then also want to welcome Michael Adams, our CEO. So welcome to both of you. And I know that there's other staff members here, so thank you for being with us in this celebration. And Michael, I will pass this on to you. Okay, um, thanks, Ronaldo, and it's uh, really great to see everybody and to be a part of this first part of this meeting for uh, a really special moment, and that is to present this year's uh, Ken Dawson Award. So. But just to start by way of background, the Ken Dawson Leadership and Advocacy Award is given each year to a sage affiliate leader who exemplifies the extraordinary leadership and advocacy legacy of Ken Dawson. Um, Ken was sage's first really visionary executive director uh, taking the helm of the organization in the early 1980s. And at the time of his death from AIDS in 1992, Kim was also organizing a national gathering of LGBTQ organizational leaders that still continues to this day as the National LGBTQ Executive Directors Institute. And I'm really proud to be a part of that um, institute and to be connected to Ken's legacy in that year, in that way. So each year we, we give the this award to an affiliate leader who really exemplifies Ken's legacy um, by, among other things, actively participating in SageNet national activities, by encouraging self-help and activism, by excelling at partnership and collaboration, by blazing trails as an advocate, by growing local work with and on behalf of LGBTQ elders, and by leading with vision as well as warmth. Um, the award is accompanied by a cash gift of $1,000 to be used to support the award recipient's professional development or to purchase equipment or other supports that will facilitate the awardee's work. So when I, when, when I describe, um, uh, you know, who Ken was and, and, and the kind of visionary leadership that, um, that results in this award, I don't think that there can be any surprise on anybody's part about how thrilled we are to present the Ken Dawson Award this year to Ed Miller. And, you know, Ed is somebody who has been a leader in our network for uh, so many years. And I, I've really um, had the honor of, of, of knowing Ed for many years and, and our work together. Um, Ed has been the senior programs coordinator at Sage Philadelphia at William Way uh, since it joined the SageNet family way back in 2009, so 12 years ago. Uh, he holds a paralegal studies degree and he's also a certified Sage Care trainer. Um, in, in 2019, Ed was honored for his contribution to increasing visibility and advocating on behalf of LGBTQ elders in Philadelphia. And over the years, he's been very active in the monthly SageNet meetings. He's attended every SageNet annual meeting. Um, he has shown tremendous leadership throughout these years, and he is deeply, deeply respected among his peers. I also think it's worth noting that Ed is somebody who is willing to share his vulnerability and his determination to work to dismantle systems of oppression. And that was demonstrated really powerfully at last year's anti-racism workshops um, that we held. Um, now, you know, like so many of our elders who demonstrated their 
resiliency through a lot of challenging times. Um, Ed has done that as well. Um, he's during this past year, during the pandemic, when all the difficulties we've been through, Ed is re remaining closely connected to the residents at John C. Anderson um, Apartments, which uh, is, as I think, as we all know, one of the first LGBTQ friendly elder housing developments in the country. The pandemic has in no way altered. Instead, it's actually just fortified and increased Ed's dedication to um, to everything that he does with John C. Anderson, um, with Sage Philadelphia in all of his work. So uh, I could go on and on, um, but I won't. I think it's enough to say that it's really impossible to imagine a more deserving recipient of the Ken Dawson Leadership and Advocacy Award than Ed Miller. So Ed, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Should I unveil the gift for Ronaldo? Yes, yes. And yes. Then we also split. have some words. Uh, some of our affiliate leaders want to say a few words. I don't know if you can read them all, but I know that people have their little uh, signs up. That's so nice. <laughs> thanks, Mary. Uh, thanks, Britta. Oh, my gosh. Look at this thing. Woo! Wow. I'm glad I didn't peek at it. It's so nice. It says Ken Dawson Leadership Award, Ed Miller, for your tireless advocacy 2021. That is really, really nice. Thank you. Michael, thank you. Uh, it's unbelievable to have my name and Ken Dawson's name uh, in the same sentence. Uh, he was such a, a wonderful, kind, and uh, generous person. Uh, but I just want to say that this award was so, uh, you know, and Ronaldo called me and told me about the award. I was so excited and, you know, it was just a boost uh, of coming out of this, uh, this pandemic that we're all in. So I, I couldn't wait to, uh, to be here today. And, you know, we're, uh, it just represents the hard work that Sage and Philadelphia, uh, Sage Philadelphia has done. I mean, it just, um, it's been a c collaboration over years and Michael said uh, since 2009 and, I have so many fond memories of everybody at SAGE, and uh, I'm just really, really grateful. We're endeavoring tonight, David Griffith's on the phone today. Um, we're uh, merging with uh, the LGBT Elder Initiative. It was effective in July. So our senior programs and the LGBT Elder Initiative are gonna be known as the Elder Initiative at William Way. And we're starting a uh, an advisory council tonight. So we're really uh, moving along, and with the help of Sage National and um, and everybody in Philadelphia, we're just continuing to do uh, to do some good work. So thank you again. I appreciate it. And love y'all. Congratulations, Ed. I am so happy for you as well as others that have, you know, been encouraging these past few years, especially like you said, you know, during the pandemic. And I know that uh, there are some changes that are happening, but I know that also Angie was our first recipient. And I know that she has a few words that she would like to share with you. Sure. Um, I just, I'm so thrilled that you received this really well-deserved award. It's, I mean, it's just, it's really, um, it's really exciting to see that you've, you've really, I've learned a lot from you and I've seen your energy and exuberance and it's been, it's been wonderful. So here's, here's my official words though. Um, so I said, Ed, uh, I said, you have shown tremendous leadership in a variety of ways that make you deserving of this award. First, you are a connector and eager to share resources and provide help to other affiliates trying new programs and services. Uh, second, you are kind and reflective. During SageNet meetings, and in particular, uh, the anti-racism workshops, you shared vulnerability, reflections on privilege, and ideas for engaging in anti-racist work as a Sage affiliate. Your humility and willingness to continue learning and growing reflect hallmarks of a true leader. And then finally, you have brought immense experience and expertise to SageNet and have done an exceptional job at translating this experience and expertise into guidance for other Sage affiliates, including us, who, you know, we've, we're sort of newer on the scene. And so it's been really great to learn from you. So I just want to thank you for that. Thank you so much, Angie. Yay. 
Again, congratulations, Ed. We have a little, I have a little something for you. We have a video that I would like to share with you. So again, remain on mute. And then uh, if you're not able to hear it, just turn up the volume on your end because I have it uh, full blast with mine. So let's see if this all works out and enjoy the little video tribute to you, Ed. Gosh, no, bro. That's too much. Bringing tears to my eyes. Thanks, Daisy. My great coworker. That was beautiful. I can't thank you enough. Wow. Well, thank you, everyone, as a special guest that have joined us today. I again appreciate you all. Uh, I know that you would love to share words. Please feel free to reach out to Ed Miller. We're going to continue our affiliate meeting. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Lynn, for joining us. And guests, friends, enjoy the rest of your day. Affiliate leaders, stay on. <laughs>